Hi guys, welcome back with this uh, beautiful retired jumper. Um, this is how he spends his retirement now. I'm joking. Uh, he's still at work, uh, just not jumping. Uh, he has he had a tendon injury two years ago, um, and so now that's a close up on his main um, problems. Let's say, uh, which is a his natural conformation. He has a narrow chest and uh, um, X-shaped le um, legs, uh, which you can see with the um, uh, blue and red lines. Uh, the angle um, is making it worse than it uh, actually is, but you get the, the picture. And you can see how it affects the feet as well. Uh, so the medial side of the wall, which is represented by the uh, pink line, is straighter than the lateral side, the green line, uh, which has more angle. Uh, due to the way he um, his leg is uh, naturally. Um, so that's good to keep in mind for the rest of the trim. I've uh, fast forwarded uh, the videos and that will only be the front legs um, uh, this time because they were the most interesting to see. Um, so it's spring in France. Uh, it went from very, very wet to very dry and re relatively hot. So the frog and the sole are not in the best of shapes. Um, uh, the, sh the sole will probably uh, be adapting and shedding. The, the frog is also shedding. You can see on the, this footage that I'm nipping the medial side straight when I will have more angle um, for the lateral side, which is the green side, the side he's flaring. Um, the white line is also not very happy. Um, so due to the change of diet, uh, I assume mainly because they were um, um, out of the grass for the whole winter and now the grass is starting to uh, grow again um, and the owner is going to be uh, treating it a bit more aggressively uh, to help with that. So yeah, this foot is the, is the worst in terms of shape uh, compared to the other one. Um, it's also the one where he had the tendon injury. Um, I don't have image of the of the injury itself, but I can feel a little lump just under his knee. So I assume that's where um, he got injured. So yeah, I'm working flatter on the medial side, just a little bit of a bevel to keep the wool from breaking off. But I have more work on the on the lateral side. And I want to show you also a picture from when I've taken the shoes off, and you clearly see the um, trend of his foot, kind of. Uh, it's quite straight on the middle side, and it's flaring and more round round on the lateral side um, also here you can notice that he had very very little heels um, yeah very thin surface of heels which is much better now so he he is happy with the heel bevel uh, he works well in it so i keep it like this so for other horses, I might be um, taking the flaps of the frog, uh, but I don't for this horse because he um, he's uh, worked quite often, uh, several times a week, and he lives in a paddock paradise type of um, uh, pasture, not a proper paddock paradise, but there are a lot of different surfaces, uh, quite abrasive, and he doesn't really like... Um, when we help him 
exfoliate the soles so uh, when I can pull them off um, then I do and uh, otherwise I don't rarely touch him with the hoof knife in the frog so here on this foot I can apply a little bit more angle um, on the medial side because he's not as bad as the other foot um, so you can see the little angle in the beginning I had to correct the toe um, quite regularly uh, but not anymore um, it's much better now yeah just a little I'm just rebalancing everything kind of and yes working more on this flared side so here both heels um, can be adjusted on uh, the left front i um, usually only touch the lateral heel because he's wearing the inside much more um, whereas on this foot i can uh, balance both of them he's growing from both Yeah, working on the flare, slight heel bevel. Yeah, and actually, I'll try to pose where it's interesting because you can see. Sorry, let me find. Yeah, you can see the bars clearly here, how the lateral bar is pulling is being pulled to the outside whereas the medial bar is much straighter so i um, i just take this one a little bit down um, whereas this one i try to um, help bring it closer to the frog yeah sorry so we're back on the heel bevel a little bit of thrush but that will go away with treatment so yeah, that's it. Thank you.